Hello and welcome to The Humble Seer. So let's talk about Liam Neeson and his significant other. And I know that his wife died and um, well, she's just moved on and she's not in his life anymore. She's gone. And so I just want to, I feel that he has just, he'll never get over that. It lingers with him. I see that he dates. I do see that he dates, but it's nothing of any significance. And it doesn't really last long, I don't see. I mean, he could get into something long-lasting, but the the point is is that it'll, they'll, he'll always see that woman in uh, his wife in that woman, that new woman that he gets with. So... You know, in time, he, he could get into something solid. But as I see things right now, he just kind of, uh, you know, he'll date here and there and whatever. But so let's pull cards on not the the marriage. Let's not talk about the marriage. Let's talk about the people that he involves himself with. I'm hearing he's a very good man. He's a very good man. All right, so let's get some cards on Liam Neeson. I feel like I did a reading on Denzel Washington, and I feel like there that mirrors Liam in every way, as it relates to his wife. Every all of those cards would be Liam. Okay, so this is um, <clears throat> their overall. Th these are any relationships that he has found himself in since his the, the passing of his wife. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is how Liam views that woman that he's involved himself with. And this is how she views him. This is going to be interesting. So the overall is the Queen of Cups, which is about the woman that he gets involved with. They're very empathic. They're very loyal and compassionate and loving. And there's someone with his best interest in mind. That's the overall because... That's what he needs. He needs a healing person in his life. He doesn't need a, a gold digger. Um, just He doesn't need that. But what he gets is what he needs, which is someone who is loyal and compassionate. And these are any women that he will find himself involved with. He draws that in because even, okay, so it's for a couple of reasons. He's not drawn in the tower. He's not drawn in, you know, the queen of wands who's, amazing but she's more about herself and getting things done he's pulling in a woman who is compassionate like the water you know she is like the water it just flows and it's calming water is very calming and so he finds that he gets in relationships with that because first of all he's a good man and he's going to draw in what he deserves and what he deserves is someone that's compassionate like that like his wife was and so he's going to bring in the Queen of Cups, <clears throat> excuse me, and that is going to be the overall relationships for Liam and, and the women that he involves himself with. And it's beautiful. It's, it's beautiful. This is how he views them. Okay, now, there's, he, he's mystified by them. They're a mystery to him. He doesn't have them completely figured out. It's almost like they're angels. I know it sounds crazy, but work with me here. They're queen of cups, so they're they're very psychic and empathic, and they're loyal. And, and see the angels right there? Angels are that. So he, but, but he sees them as a mystery. Like, why do these amazing women, why are they in my life when I'm feeling so low? They come in and I feel good. Why is that happening? I'm, he's mystified by why these types of women are entering his life. But Liam, you don't need to be mystified. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. You don't need to be mystified because what you give is what you get. That's the moral of the story. This is how they see him. All. Three of Cups. That's really sweet. Three of Cups is about celebrations. It's about marriage favorable circumstances. That's how they see him. Now it's going to be at the more at the bottom of the board because he's not necessarily at this stage seeing that. 
But I do see he could get remarried. Huh. I'm seeing that as a... Anyway, um, but they're viewing him as three of cups. You know, he still feels sadness about his wife, and that won't ever go away. He'll feel that way till the day he dies, okay? It's just, it, it's fresh in his mind and in his heart, but he still finds time to enjoy life, though. He's not like in a depressed state. You know, he's saddened, yes, but the point is that, that they, they see him as the three of cups. They see him as someone to celebrate. They see him as marriage material and they want to be engaged. They want to be in a relationship and marriage with him. And yeah, he's young at heart too. He's a young at heart kind of man. He likes to do those types of things. So I'm going to leave it there. That's, that's, there's nothing more to say here. Thank you so much for stopping by the Humble Seer. Please do consider liking, sharing, subscribing, and leave a comment below. And if you like what I do, please do consider buying me a coffee. And that will be in the description box below. Until next time, you take good care. And we most definitely will talk again soon. Bye.